With the 13th pick in the 2024 CFL Draft, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers select Kevin's Clercios, wide receiver, UConn. Winnipeg, you remain on the clock. Kevin's Clercios, big receiver. The Quebec kid went down to University of Connecticut. Not necessarily big production, but I think what we saw at the Combine is that this is a guy who's production didn't match his ability. Often we have these guys who are highly recruited guys. You don't see the, the production, you don't see the numbers in their college career, and you wonder why. And I think for this guy, it was just a matter of, of situation and opportunity. At UConn, you put him in a different system, give him a different opportunity to be more involved in the offense, to touch the football a little bit more. I think particularly in a CFL offense, the big field, you can take advantage of, of his big body running some short routes, some horizontal routes, but also bring him into the box as a blocker. I think this guy's going to be a great fit in a CFL offense. Huge special teams upside as well. And, and I want to point out this, okay? The CFL at the Combine has begun measuring grip strength, which you might not think is all that important, but if you read some of mm -hmm. the, the studies on this, it has a direct correlation to a whole but longevity of your career and injury resistance and all the rest. Kevin Sclercius had the strongest grip, not just of receivers, of any player at any position in this entire combine. So we always use these buzzwords. We say, wow, that receiver's got strong hands. He literally has the strongest <laughs> hands in the CFL combine. We have numbers that can equate these things at this point. So bravo to the CFL for deciding to go ahead and measure that. But he is going to get his hands on people on special teams and throw them into the sideline. And he's going to make plays over the middle of the field as well for them. They're not a really deep group at that receiver spot behind Dembski, Wolotarski. So now they've got a player that I think they can really work in pretty quickly. This is one of my favorite players in the draft. You know, when you talk to him, he came out of Montreal, North Montreal, and his goal when he's done playing is to go back there yep. and give back to that community. He went to the University of Connecticut not speaking any English. He hung there for four years. The new staff came in, wanted him out. He didn't go. He stayed. He's just a tough kid. He catches the ball. I think he's as hard a worker as you have. He's a Mike O'Shea type of guy. I love this pick. I didn't think this was the direction they would go, but I love this pick. I just, I think this guy is going to be a, a player that's going to fit in beautifully in, in, in Winnipeg. And, and as those uh, Canadian receivers age a little bit, well, Latarski's getting up there, they'll have a, a good young Canadian ready to go. Yeah, you mentioned uh, a Mike O'Shea type of player. When I spoke to him at the Combine, Claire Shea said to me, I love to do the dirty work. 